Ian Dawson fans enjoying the World Cup figures due out this week from the Scottish Retail Consortium are expected to show a Moscow bounce for publicans, retailers and anyone selling soccer paraphernalia bearing the colours of England's opponents. In Glasgow, long-established sports business Greaves confirmed that it had sold out of £65 Croatia tops as some Scots choose to back the old enemies conquerors in today's final. Owner Sandy Greaves, 58, left, they have cleared the shelves of everything Croatian, home, tops, away, tops, kitties, jerseys, the lot. I sold my last Croatian flag five minutes ago, I'm nearly sold out of the French men's tops, it was really busy when England played Panama early in the tournament. I never knew there were so many Panamanians in Glasgow, fans have also been packing out Scotland's pubs as they realize the beautiful game looks even more attractive when you are watching it in licensed premises. As well as the Anyone But England Brigade, the half a million English people living north of the border and the legions of Scots supporting their southern neighbours have contributed to increased takings, who wants to watch the big game on their own in their living room, asked Paul Watterson, spokesman for the Scottish Licence Trade Association. What is coming across loud and clear in this World Cup is that people prefer to watch football in the company of others. Paul Watterson. What is coming across loud and clear in this World Cup is that people prefer to watch football in the company of others. Publicans have been working hard at making this an attractive proposition, investing in state-of-the-art TVs and handing out pies and sausage rolls at halftime. I well remember the pub I was in during the 1990 World Cup when England were playing Cameroon. You couldn't move for fans in green and red, and none of them could tell you where Cameroon is on the map. This World Cup has been a bit slow to take off, everyone says so, but a real momentum has built up thanks to England doing so well. We are getting great reports back from publicans. They can do the extra trade after a dreadful winter. Just four months ago, the economy was grinding to a near standstill due to snowstorms from Siberia, dubbed the beast from the east. Publicans also felt some effects from the Scottish government's law to crack down on heavy drinking by placing a minimum price on a unit of alcohol. But the feel-good factor has brought people out in the droves to pack bouncing beer gardens and sunny pub terraces. Scots have broken the World Cup records, however, by buying more barbecue food this summer than any other part of the UK. Nowhere has bought more 8 beef burger flatties than the M. And sales of skinny chicken burgers have been at their highest at the branch at Glasgow Fort in the city's east end. The Scottish Retail Consortium say it will be this week when they are able to say for sure if Scotland's economy overall has seen a Moscow bounce, Ewan MacDonald Russell, SRC head of policy, said, after a difficult winter, there have been signs in recent months that consumers are feeling a bit more upbeat about the economy. Obviously, in the last few weeks, we've seen great weather and the excitement of the World Cup into summer of sport, so retailers will be hopeful the good mood translates into queues at the checkout, for those who hope the World Cup economy boost can go into extra time. Time, the new season kicks off in less than three weeks. Football's not coming home, it's never been away.